Yeah, yeah. Hello, YouTubers. All right, you guys are stepping it up. Still haven't hit that mark to put that guy in there yet, but I tell you what, this is going to be a bonus video. We're just going to feel it out, see what happens. One shot, one take, and we're just going to do it. So I have this guy here and trackpad from a laptop there. You know, the shiny gold. I think if you've watched my other video, you've seen something like this in there. Got that conformal coating on the back of there. I'm pretty sure it's gold plated underneath the backside too, but if we just go and pop her in that jar, all it's going to take is whatever it can reach. And we're going to miss out on all that gold underneath of there. So we're going to take this over to the table and we're going to figure this out together. Alright, so we're back at my shop table here. We got the card over there and we got a few ingredients. Now before I do this, you guys have got to know. If you're working with any open flames or anything like that in your shop, your shop ain't worth losing it over a little piece of gold like that. Make sure you got one of those guys right there. And if you're ever dealing with corrosive stuff, don't use your wife's pans, your husband's pans, whatever it may be. Just use something you find. I found that spoon. I found that in a free pile. We got a free pickle jar. Why not? So I'm going to put my lye solution with a little extra lye. We're going to mix a little more in there. We're going to put it in that jar, put it in that pan. And we're going to see what happens once we stick that guy in there. And as soon as something happens and we get this set up, I'll come back. All right, so we got our pot, we got the heat, and we got the jar inside there. I'm not sure if this is the right approach or not, but we're going to go down this journey together. So I already got a little bit of lye solution I did some other things with, but we're going to add just a little bit more. And now, if you guys are like me, uh, you're going to want to wear gloves, regardless, I guess, whatever. I don't know, my wife says I'm like a delicate little peach. I don't know if that's a term of endearment or whatever anyways so i put some of that lye in there we're gonna give her a good mix make sure it's mixed up pretty good in there without dropping my phone that'd be a little devastating i don't got many videos but the few i got are on this phone which is not a good idea i'm gonna work on that later but so we got that heating up. We're gonna get that going a little bit. We're gonna let it get warmed up. And then we're gonna pop this bad rat in there and see what we can do with it. All right, so I don't know if you can hear me over my burner, but there's just not enough heat being transferred from water to jar, so on and so forth. And I don't care about this pan. So we just put her right in there. We're gonna let her get boiling and then we'll figure it out. All right, so we got it up to temp here, and we're going to put this in. We know the lye is not going to attack that gold. So no matter what, we could just pull it back out and go from there. But I'm pretty sure we're going to take that coating off of there and expose more gold flashing underneath. So we're going to put this guy in face up there. We're going to let him cook. I'm going to throw a, little, throw a little cover on there, see what happens. We'll come back in a minute and check it out. I'm pretty sure that plate can take some heat because it's a glass plate it's meant for warm food not sure how much it can take but we'll, we'll figure it out so while we're waiting for that to do that thing I just kind of wanted to talk do a little shop update so you guys are really stepping up them views and I'm loving it loving it I can't ask for anything better and you guys are pumping up them subscribers and everything else and that's just fantastic so what I did was I was going to go back into my basement for the winter because I live about 45 minutes south of the Canadian border. We're going to turn that guy down a little bit there. There we go. Anyways, I live about 45 minutes south of the Canadian border. So my temp is dropping pretty quick. As it stood when I went in my shop this morning, it was 23 degrees. That's Fahrenheit. I'm not quite where, where it is uh, Celsius yet, but I'll start working that out in my head. Um, so it starts to get pretty cold in my shop. Now I know if you watch my other videos, you've seen my shop is basically a four stall garage. You can fit two cars and two more behind it. And that's great. But any guy who owns a shop or any lady out there that owns a shop knows that heating it up sucks and that caught just costs so much it cuts into your bottom line and it just sucks and it sucks working in cold 
because sometimes you can't get things to work. Now, following the theme of my channel, I believe that you can do anything for free if you work hard enough. Everything I get is reclaimed. There's nothing, not a single thing in my shop that you see besides a couple pictures that I paid for. There is only one thing in my shop I paid for and that is those. Those I bought when I started. I paid five bucks for them, something like that, and a tank of gas. And that's literally what I started everything I'm doing with. That pair of clippers and a tank of gas. And I went from there. So, for example, this stove, found it in a free pile this fall. Works great, it's beautiful. Sorry, I thought the HVAC guy was here. Cause yeah, it's winter time and wouldn't you know it, the furnace isn't working quite right. Anyways, picked up this stove in a free paw, using it. Um, I found these tarps in a free pile this fall. Tucked them away, you never know when you're gonna need some tarps. So I got that. The only thing that kinda goes against what I'm doing in my shop are these pieces of plastic. Now, I didn't have these sheets of plastic and my wife knew I was going to need these if I was going to keep making videos. So bless her heart, she went out and she bought me four sheets. One, two, three, four sheets of plastic. Five bucks a piece. So she went out and she spent 20 bucks of her own money that she worked for, bless her heart, just to help me be able to seal up my garage a little bit so I can keep making videos. And that's great. So I may sound a little tired, but I stayed up all night putting all this up. So at least I could trap some heat in here. And you guys, if you live up here or anywhere where it's cold, you go ice fishing or anything like that, you know a couple gaps ain't going to be too bad. Helps with ventilation. But the name of the game is trapping the heat. And this little guy here normally is on just for looks. Love it. It's my little thing. I found it in a free pile. Again, everything I have is free. And, you know, I'll be darned, he is just keeping up with it. I mean, the temperature outside is pretty darn cold. And inside my shop, look at about 52, 52 degrees. That's, that's not so bad. Um, at least for me. I know there's, like, Mike over at a Mega Geek 64. He lives in Florida. He hits 50 degrees. He's bundled up like an Eskimo. Poor guy. I get it. I get it. I wish I was in Florida half the time, but I'm not. So we got to work with what we got. So we're going to let this boil and we're going to come back and we're going to see what happened to this guy. All right. So I don't know if you're going to be able to see this, but I really don't want to hold my phone over this for too long. Uh, look at that. Look at that business just disappearing. You know what? We got this set up. I got some slot cards. Hey, Let's just turn this into a video and let's go. So I got some slot cards sitting in my bucket back there that I think may have some gold on them. So we're gonna drop those suckers in here too. Why not, fellas? You guys deserve an extra video this week. This ain't my video. I appreciate the likes, comments, subscriptions. Just love it. So we're gonna give you a bonus video this week. All right, so we got this. This, what I'm assuming was a video card. It had some USBs. It didn't have any sound ports or anything on it, but I'm not sure. Just because you don't know every part of a car doesn't mean you don't know how to drive it, right? So we're gonna put this guy in there. That literally took three minutes of boiling for that one to go. So we're gonna light this fire, get this guy going. We're gonna put the cat back on it, let her cook a little bit and come back and I'll let you know what's going on. I know you guys can't quite see it in there, but it's only been in there for about a minute. If I get too close, my camera starts fogging up. Oh, you can start to see a little bit of it. I'm not sure if it's gold or not. We're gonna find out. Oh yeah, just another minute away. All right, so we pulled them out. The coating's off of both of them. And uh, let's see, I don't know, it's still pretty hot. But uh, look at that, took that stuff off pretty darn, pretty darn swell. This guy, Looks pretty much copper. There's a little piece of gold here and there on there. You know, that's kind of what I was seeing when I was first doing it. There's another little piece. But uh, it looks all copper to me. But hey, 
I'm going to throw it in that pot over there. Why not? Let's see what happens. But just so you guys know, this stuff is so corrosive. Do not do this with anything important. I know I've already said it, but I set my spoon down for a minute and look at how much rust is already coming off of that spoon. You touch this to any of your tools, they're gone. So, although I get my stuff for free, I don't want to keep replacing it. Okay, so we're back at my fume hood because the light is a lot better here. Um, but so you see that guy there? Uh, it's got a little, little dobby do there. It's like a little, kind of like a little icy chip stuck on there. And then the connector. Those will come off. That's okay. We're talking about this guy. I'm not really sure. I'm not sure. I know it looks copper in the video. But there's some spots on there that sure do look like gold. This guy does have some gold on it. I know that for a fact. This guy doesn't. Then I don't really want to keep chucking more and more and more. And just wasting my precious time on, on copper. But I tell you what. We're going to throw them in there anyways. And we're going to find out. And for my more astute viewers, yes, you do see a string on here. Yes, it is hanging there because no, I don't like chasing big boards out of my stock pot. I like to hang them in there until they played out and then I pull out the remainder and then I don't got a bunch of crap sitting in there that I got to filter out later on. So I'm going to put these guys in there and hang this guy and we'll come back. All right, and then before you guys ask, yes, I washed all these off with tap water. I use tap water because distilled water is rather expensive for this process and I don't think we have to worry about chlorine in my stock pot at the moment. So we're gonna give this guy a little heave hole down in there and we're gonna let him drop and see how long he takes to plate out. And I'll come back and I'll, I'll let you guys know. And we're just We're just gonna put this guy over here for now, I'm sure. I know I'm gonna need him here pretty soon. And I know you guys are excited. Oh, you haven't even seen, look at the back of that board. Yeah, that looks nice. All that stuff's gonna come off and I'm gonna collect that from the bottom of my jar. But we're just gonna put, we're just gonna put him right, right over here. And we're just gonna let him chill right there for now. And I can't even see the board myself. Oh, there he is a little bit, but we're going to give him a few minutes and we're just going to see what happens because this copper chloride, uh, HCL, whatever you want to call it, sure does work quick under the right conditions. And right now, holding at about 55 degrees in my shop, which is great. Um, and it seems to work really nice. So I don't know if you guys can see that, but that's all the gold coming up and off. There's a little bit of copper left on it, but it'll get cleaned off. But yeah, it sure does work fast. It's been in there about five minutes. So while we wait for that to finish up here, yeah, just look at all this stuff. If you do this indoors or in your house, this is going to be all over your walls. That's all the dried up lye and everything. So do it outside. Don't be a bunch of... And go and get yourself hurt. Or wreck something and end up sleeping in the shop that you just ended up making warm. Don't, don't do that. I don't suggest that. That's up to you. That's your life. You do it how you want. So here's that board. You can see there's still some gold left on it, but the copper underneath is coming through. So it's working. It's getting there. Oh yeah, there you go. Now you can see a little more. There's a little shine. The doll is the copper hiding underneath still. All right guys, well, pretty much all the gold is stripped off of that board and I'm gonna go eat. So uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed my video. Keep them subscribers coming. Come on guys, we gotta make it. And uh, yeah, if my wife's watching, I love you. And if my kids are watching, go wash your face.